All right, let's take a look at problem 82. It says, if each edge of a cube is doubled in length, then the volume of the cube is multiplied by a factor of. Now, um, before we do this, let's go ahead and take a look at our formulas real quick. Uh, we're going to consider the formulas for scale factor, okay? Scale factoring is if you, if you enlarge or um, diminish an image or an object by a certain factor, how do the dimensions change? By what factor does the side or perimeter change? And by what factor does the area change? And by what factor does the volume change? Okay, so those are the formulas we're going to take a look at. You want to have these formulas memorized um, in order to be able to do these problems real quickly, okay? So let's look at the skill factor formulas. So for um, a, a, a length, length or perimeter, they have the same dimension. They're just a length, length or perimeter. For length of perimeter, you basically, to get a new dimension, you multiply it by the skill factor. You don't do anything with a skill factor. Just whatever the skill factor is, just multiply the old by the skill factor. For area, you're going to multiply the old area by the skill factor quantity squared. Remember, the dimension for area is length squared, right? It's length times length. So you have to multiply by the skill factor squared. For volume, we're going three dimension now. Can you think about what it's going to be? You multiply by the skill factor raised to the third power. All right? So don't forget length of perimeter, just straight up multiply by skill factor. Area, you multiply by the skill factor squared. Volume, you multiply by the skill factor cubed. All right, in this situation, it says if each edge is doubled. So what is being doubled here? An edge represents the length. Okay? So if each edge is doubled, then the volume of the cube is multiplied by a factor. So for length, what did they do? For the length, we had the situation where, let me spell my length correctly. So for the length, we have a situation where um, the, it was doubled, okay? So length was doubled. What on earth does double mean? If you double something, you're scaling it by a factor of two. So since you double a length, the scale factor is equal to two, okay? Now, how about the volume? The volume, remember, is scale, you multiply the old volume by the scale factor raised to the third power. This is the factor that you increase the volume by. So what is the skill factor is two, right? So you're going to multiply the old volume by two raised to the third power to find your new volume. Okay? So what is two to the third power? That's eight. So you have to multiply the old air volume by eight in order to get the new volume if the length of each side of the cube is doubled. All right? So skill factor cube Give us eight, so our answer is option letter E. All right, let's take a look at um, problem number 83. It says, in the picture above, the perimeter of a, of a starfish is 30 centimeters. Um, this original picture is to be enlarged. So this is the original picture we have here. It's going to be enlarged to a much larger picture in both dimensions to so an image that is similar to the original picture. So there, there is um, the whole idea of scaling again, all right? If the area of the enlarged image is nine times the area of the original picture, what is the perimeter in centimeters of the starfish in the enlarged image? So this is another problem on um, scale factor. So let's refresh our memory on the formulas. I know we just... Um, went over them on the previous problem. So let's look at it again, formulas for skill factor. Now remember, when you're dealing with a side length or perimeter, side length or perimeter, what do you do with the skill factor? To find a new perimeter or side length, like in this problem, we are looking for the new perimeter. 
what you do is you basically multiply by the scale factor. For um, area, to find a new area, what do you do? You will simply multiply the old area by the scale factor quantity square. You notice here it talks about the enlarged image being nine times the original picture. So it tells you that um, to get a new area, the old area was multiplied by nine, which is the scale factor square. Okay. And then for volume, what do you do with volume? You multiply by scale factor cubed. In this problem, we're going to be making use of formulas one and two, the first and second formula. Now, since um, the um, area of the enlarged image is nine times the area of the original picture, that automatically tells me that we're using this piece right here, the scale factor squared is equal to nine. Okay, that's the fact, that is what you multiply the areas by to determine, to preserve the similarity relationship. If the scale factor of square is nine, then what is the scale factor? The scale factor has to be the square root of nine. So the scale factor of the sides or perimeter is going to be the square root of nine, which is three, okay? So since the original picture is 30 centimeters, uh, the perimeter of the original starfish, so the perimeter of the enlarged is going to be what? Perimeter of enlarged. Remember, perimeter and sight length, you just simply multiply by the scale factor. You multiply the old. All right, so the old perimeter is 30. We're going to multiply by the scale factor, right? So question, is the scale factor 9 or is it 3? 9 is the scale factor square. That's what applies to the area. The scale factor is 3, which is the square root of 9. So we're going to multiply the old perimeter by 3. Remember, you just multiply by the scale factor when you're enlarging or shrinking the side length or the perimeter. They are in the same dimension. Okay? So 30 times 3 is 270 uh, centimeters. That is the perimeter of your enlarged image. So option letter D is our answer. All right, let's take a look at problem 84. It says an automatic ice cream scoop serves spherical helpings of ice cream. The scoop can be adjusted to serve helpings of from one inch in diameter to two inches in diameter. So basically you can alter the shape of that um, scoop, the volume of the scoop, by altering the diameter of your scoop. So it says if Tim orders a scoop with a two inch diameter, and if Paul uh, wants only half as much ice cream as Tim, what should be the diameter in inches of the scoop for Paul's helping? So um, what are we doing here? We, are, we want half as much. So if you think about much, what is that? What do you fill the scoop with? The scoop is filled with ice cream and the amount of ice cream that you fill the scoop with can be also determined in mathematical terms or expressed as the volume of the ice cream. Okay, so when you're dealing with the amount of ice cream, we're looking at volume. So if you're looking at half as much, that automatically tells us, says half as much, that um, we're dealing with volume here. And remember from our formula for volume, what do you do with volume? For volume, volume um what do you multiply for volume again for volume you multiply the original by scale factor to the third power remember three is the dimension of volume so if the scale factor of the volume scale factor to the third power is one half because you want half as much of the volume okay now, what is the scale factor going to be? Because the scale factor can help us determine how we can adjust the length, the side length, or the diameter. Actually, just the diameter. Remember, diameter is just a, is just a length, okay? So let's find out what the scale factor is. Then we're going to shrink Tim's diameter by that scale factor, okay? So what is the scale factor here? Scale factor cube is one half. That's the adjustment factor for the volume. But for a length, 
we'll take the inverse of the third power, which is the cube root. So you take the cube root of both sides. So what do we have here? We have the scale factor. So this is by how much the side length will be um, uh, reduced by to get um, one half as much, okay? So remember, this is a factor. This is not the diameter. So now it's, you might be tempted to select that answer, but that's wrong. That's not what you asked for. The problem said, what should the diameter be, okay? So the diameter, the old, uh, old diameter is two inches and you want to shrink it, you have to multiply by the scale factor to get a new diameter, okay? So um, let's see, Paul, Paul's um, diameter, let me call it Paul's diameter, is simply going to be um, Tim's diameter times what? Times the scale factor. You just multiply Tim's diameter by the scale factor. Why are we not squaring a cube in? Because diameter is a length. Okay? If we we're talking about area, then we'll square this. If we we're talking about volume, then cube it. But we already know what the cubic relationship is. That's one half. All right? So Paul's diameter is going to be Tim's diameter, which is two, multiplied by the scale factor. The scale factor was the cube root of one half. And this expression will tell you what the diameter of um, Paul's help, um, scoop should be in order for him to get half as much um, ice cream as as um, as Tim. Okay, so we can clearly see that our answer is option letter D.